hi thanks for joining me once again on the Ghanaian farmer youtube channel if this is your first time on my channel please subscribe to my channel and smash the notification button so you get to see all my videos i upload we bring you 360 interviews on agriculture from livestock to aquaculture to crops to everything that you can think about Ghanaian farmer youtube channel is the right place for you to be share with your friends let someone learn let someone get inspired to venture into farming today we are in tomato farm it is not the regular tomato you see this type i'm told is called olimpo <laughs> olimpo tomato it has a different shape it bobs a bit bigger than the regular tomato i am going to engage my guest who is an expert in greenhouse farming to tell me more about this variety of tomato olimpo tomato what All right. is tomato is tomato why are you calling it olimpo tomato <laughs> yes it's, it's very true tomato right. is a tomato mm -hmm. yes uh, it just it is its name okay mm, and the breeder gave it to it to be called uh, olimpo, olimpo. Tomato. and because tomato we have different different varieties okay uh, like how many uh, for can we it's of have a tomato variety they have numerous we have numerous they have plenty oh, okay yes okay. But for in this depend... farm here mm -hmm. in this farm here mm -hmm. the number of variety we are cultivating is over 20 varieties, varieties. yes oh, okay and they all have their methods behind. yes yes oh, okay mm -hmm. all right so i know that with tomato you have to do measure before you transplant yeah. but are they locally produced seeds or imported all oh, this is, is a it's a hybrid seed. Okay. Yes. So normally, most of these seeds, mm -hmm. and you know, greenhouse is a serious business. Mm. Where you do not, you are always looking at high yielding varieties mm -hmm. to produce. Mm -hmm. Because the quantity, the quality mm -hmm. is key. Okay. Uh -huh. So most of the times, most of our varieties are imported varieties okay. for our seeds. Right. Uh -huh. So how long does it take Olimpo tomato to Grow. Olympo tomatoes, it is one of the fastest vigorous growing type of tomato. Okay. For Olympo, mm -hmm. for instance, within one month, mm -hmm. within one month, on the day of uh, uh, transplanting mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. within one month, you see the fruit start, it start bearing fruit. You mean after one month? Well, after one month. I see. You see the fruit, it start bearing. And it, it what, does not have any problem. Right. Yes. Why is it bigger than the regular tomato I see? What makes it grow bigger than the regular one? Yes, it is one of our visions mm. as a farm or mm. at Marflix uh -huh. to give quality okay. tomatoes. Okay. It, we are not trying to compete, but we realize that even in the market you go, people when they hear Burkina tomato, people yes. are more they Buying, like it because yes. of it's bigger. certain yes the size it's because of certain texture or okay. the sizes they see. Mm. So we we are taking it as a key notice in You've all done our your production. Yes, so that you can match. Yes, we standard. can match. We know that Ghanaians or Africa or the whole world they prefer something like that okay yes right how come that your greenhouse the structure and the color is white why yes for greenhouses mostly when the people here if you have never heard of it they say greenhouse you come and see a white structures and they're saying greenhouse yeah. you may expect it to be green yeah yes for greenhouse normally all greenhouses it's always a white color because you know the white color does not attract Heat. Okay. And it's allow light intensity into the the farm, the the, 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 the crops. inside into okay. the, the the crops. Okay. So it does not block some of the radiation we mm. need from the plant needs. Mm. Normally, plants, for instance, mm -hmm. they have certain lights they attract from the solar mm. light mm. or the sunlight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for white, it does not repel those. Uh, light they need for their photosynthesis yeah there are stones yeah. why is it that sometimes mm. it's about their cost and mm. uh, you know at first we were doing the stones and those kind of things you okay. see our first greenhouse yeah. it, it is stony mm. the first one we did mm. but later on the 
price of stone mm. you know you are also looking at cost of reducing yeah, the your cost, cost of production, production. so uh -huh. so we see getting a quality bag mm. or a mulch mm -hmm. to lay on the floor mm -hmm. and plant mm -hmm. is even more cooler it, it is even less cost than using the, the stones okay mm -hmm. okay all right that's fine yeah. and also how many fruits can be you know found on one olympio tomato plant for Olympio tomatoes, we are on, on the average 25 to 30 fruits. And on a regular or normal tomato plant, how many oh, do you Oh, for on the normal tomato plant, less than some, if it is 15 tangot or even 10 tangot. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. The normal tomato plant can only give you about 10 or 15. 10 or 15. The yeah, highest, that's even the highest. Because by the, the day you have even some seven Ghana year, most of the tomatoes varieties less than ten wow. fruits per plant. But with the, the hybrid seed, which is something like an Olympia, you get about close to thirty. Yeah, close thirty five. Uh, even because we are own here, yeah, that's why we are more concerned about indeterminate varieties. Okay. Indeterminate varieties that means some of the on the regular tomato, you see when they start when the fruit like this finish, you see the tips start dying off mm, it start dying off itself automatically for the normal tomato yes plants. for the normal tomato plant okay mm -hmm. we call it a senescence like it is it's, it's old age right has okay. caught up with it right yes. menopause menopause have caught I up see. with it so but this one is an indeterminate variety so it continues to fruit uh -huh. up to the point we have our own training when you reach this line uh -huh. we are targeting this it line. doesn't go beyond it what? yes okay. when you get there Right. We have, yeah, like the way you see uh -huh. this one, grown uh -huh. tall like this. Yes. We we'll do our own training up there. It will, it will start fruiting you downwards. Wow. So it means that if you're looking for tomatoes that will give you more profit and stay longer, durability-wise too, you should go for the hybrid seeds, especially something like an Olympio. Yes. Right. Something like Olympio will solve most of your, 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 your problems. Okay. Uh -huh. And in the market too, the women prefer the Olympo compared to the normal tomatoes. Exactly. Even uh, if we send this thing to uh, this place, ShopRite, uh -huh. this is the type they prefer more. Wow. And this one, the texture. Okay. On the normal tomatoes, mm -hmm. if you touch it like the mm. you yourself, you know, but this one, if you touch it, you know that it's the tomatoes. It's, it's very hard. hard. Very hard. It's very hard. Very, very hard. But on the normal tomatoes, if you touch it, you can squeeze it small. And that is the quality. When this one ripe, our tomatoes, more than two months, we have done our own shell life uh -huh. check, with our own research on uh -huh. how our tomatoes can last. And they can last for how long? More than two months, you put wow. it there. We have done on our cucumber, we have done on the tomatoes. Right. How long our, the shell life mm, of our tomatoes mm, can take. Mm. And I think that's one the, ma the, the market prefer yeah they yeah prefer of course if it lasts last. longer i will surely buy it yes and i guess this is more expensive compared to the normal tomatoes uh it's for for now ghana mm -hmm. market for now that's why it may be a bit expensive mm -hmm. but on the average it's the same price okay but just that you beat down right you get the quantity okay. you get the quality okay you get the demand right you get all everything you don't need there's nothing like post harvest loss your post harvest loss is also reduced do you ever experience post harvest loss when it comes to greenhouse people yes do ever we do okay we do we when do. there is no market when there's no market we do okay we do but for greenhouse mm. it's it's it hardly happen okay but it depends on the quality sometimes Sometimes it depends on the quality. Right. Uh -huh. Sometimes when you produce, mm -hmm. maybe there's disease infestation. Mm. If not, you are it can to worry you. Yeah, okay, you how many forms of, you know, are you able to harvest mm -hmm. when it is ready? How many tons do you harvest per day? Per day? For, for now, we are reaching within just uh, 500 to... Uh, half a ton to uh, one, okay. um, to one ton. Right. Uh, that's our bet. We are sure by ending of August, mm -hmm. September, October, mm -hmm. we are going to go up. We are okay. Going to go up. Okay. Okay. So, but uh, we are wrapping up our interview. 
um, with regards to let's say some basic agronomy practices yeah. what would you suggest i do to ensure the good standard and safety of my crops to get the expected yield i'm looking forward to yes for your crop we have certain the first thing is irrigation water water you don't joke with it okay. this is the key thing mm. this is number one thing mm. the second thing is your nutrition mm. what you give to the plant mm. is very key may i say that the, the last thing probably even in the open field sometimes they don't even prune tomatoes mm. They leave it like that, mm. nobody cut or whatever it is. It's not mm. good. It's not good. You have to make sure that you mm. do your pruning every now mm. and then. It's very, very important. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, viewers, uh, many thanks for sticking and staying with us. This is the Ghanaian Farmer YouTube channel. If this is your first time, please remember to subscribe to our channel smash the notification button there are a lot of interviews on my channel watch each and every one of them to make a wise decision and today we've discovered that apart from cherry tomato that is my favorite now there is olimpo tomato it's big it stays longer it produces more fruits and of course you can keep harvesting until you say oh tomato i'm tired and then you can stop of course the export market and then the local market equally gets to you know are very much interested in buying this because of the way it is so if you are you know contemplating i want to go into tomato farming which one should i go for today you have a choice to make cherry tomato olimpo tomato or the regular tomato we have which one would you go for the hybrid or the normal one all the decision I have given you reasons why you should make a decision. Thanks for watching. My name is Anya. If you have any further questions, just call me on 0554 8304 31. Until then, it's a bye for now.